When the Catalyst question cards were first released, I sent a deck to a CEO that I work with. He texted me that he pulled out the cards and rapid fire asked one question after another to his team around the table. I imagined a very tense situation as people were being peppered with questions. He was kidding, but it reminded me that when and how you ask a question makes difference. Be aware that the timing of your questions and the tone of your voice when asking a question makes all the difference. There's more to your message than just the words that you say and the questions that you ask. So when you have a question to ask, make sure that the person you are asking is prepared to hear and respond. People's brains work differently at different times. Imagine that you just completed a significant project at work. You've been so involved that you really haven't given much thought to your career path. As you reflect, you realize it's been over a year since you've had a discussion with your boss about your future, your performance, or getting a raise. After the long, hard hours and outrageously successful project outcomes, you are confident that it's time to ask for a promotion and a raise. You spend time capturing your accomplishments, make a list of the reasons you deserve a raise, and get fully prepared for a conversation with an important question. You are ready to ask your boss for a raise. You open your calendar to schedule the meeting, and then you discover she's leaving for vacation the next day. Is that the right time to ask for a raise? When asking questions, be conscious of your timing. There's a right time and a wrong time for everything, including asking a question. If someone seems distracted or is focused on a particular topic, he or she may not be as receptive to an off-topic question. For example, I was facilitating a team meeting that was focused on strategy. Issues kept emerging during this discussion. Finally, someone stood up and said, I think we should take the rest of the day to better understand the challenges that we're dealing with and start addressing them instead of moving forward, discussing the items on the agenda as it's written. That was completely off topic. And the leader who was in charge was taken off guard by the question. He agreed, but was not happy about the agenda change. If a question requires a thoughtful answer, try to give advance notice so that the person has time to formulate his or her response. Timing is very important. A good question asked at the wrong time may yield little, kind of like the example of asking for a raise just as your boss is going on vacation. If you catch someone at the wrong time, the person may not be ready to answer it or they may not trust you yet with the answer, or they may not yet know the answer. The best way to develop good timing for your questions is to practice and be patient. Your ability will improve with experience. And even then, you won't always get the timing right. People are complex. Here's a quick tip. Before you begin a conversation, why don't you ask, is now a good time? and then respect the answer. When asking questions, not only do you need to be conscious of your timing, it's critical to watch your tone. As Frederick Nietzsche said, we often refuse to accept an idea merely because the tone of voice in which it has been expressed is unsympathetic to us. Let's use a real example and examine how stress and tone work together with different meanings from the same exact words. We're gonna use the question, what was that? This brief question can be used in a variety of ways depending upon the tone that you use. You can politely ask someone to repeat themselves, show shock and surprise, or respond defensively to a rude comment, all with just three short words and a change in your tone. What was that? What was that? What was that? Listen to how you can shift the stress within the question in order to express different emotions or attitudes. This is why we always say, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. As you'll discover, it might not be your words that were misunderstood, it could be your tone. 
The art of asking questions isn't just about picking the right question. Pay attention to the timing and your tone so that you ask in a way that elicits a useful response. Great questions must be asked at the right time and in the right tone.